after. And we'll do it after the, after the next mm. Sunny Road from Emiliana Torini. This is Six Music, Russell Brand, standing in for the moment with Carl Pilkinson, who just said that he reckons that he could have Emiliana Torini's voice playing in his head at all times. Don't you think it would eventually, though, it would, it would start to annoy you, wouldn't it? No, it's just soothing, isn't it? All right, but say you don't want to be soothed. Perhaps you're entering into a bout of aggressive lovemaking with your partner, and you've got Emiliana Torini. That's honey, you're old, all gentle. That Maybe might be just, I didn't, What I didn't tell you is I've got a little volume knob on the side of my head. You can turn, turn it down. down a bit, yeah. Well, no, but that's you've undermined the premise. You said you wanted it all times. Who wouldn't you like to have in your mind at all times? Musically, Ice Cube, something like that. Ice angry. Cube, making you insecure. I don't like any song when you can't hear what what they're telling you. Right. Do you know what I mean? You like it to be clear. You like there to be clear narratives, which is yeah. why about every ten minutes you bring up your love of In the Ghetto. In the Ghetto, Elvis, brilliant. You can hear it. There's a story. It's got a start, middle, and end. But yeah. all this rap, I can't hear what they're saying. Right. Op opera. opera. It's nothing to do with you know rap and stuff. It's opera, the same problem, isn't it? Right. Yeah. So Don't know opera. That's is it. That's in Italian or German or something. Just like very clearly to know what's going on. I just, yeah. All right, and yet you see fit yourself to pose riddles for others, like your. Patented rock busters. Come in, what's the first rock buster you can win? Like a variety of DVDs and, um, books and, that. and books and that. Also, what I'd like you to do, right, if you're having a little bit of a listen, you can text in with whose voice would you most like to have going on in your mind all the time and whose would you least like to have going on all the time inside your mind and also, and, uh, and also which DVD you might like to win. And of course, you've got to answer the rock buster inquiry. What, what is it then? Right then, so there's uh, three little clues. Will we do... But to get one? I think we should just do one at a time, don't you? Well, we should have thought this through, shouldn't we? Do all three. Do, do all your three. Go with your instincts, you're the creator of the rock buster. I don't oh, want right. it ever oh, to right. be said that I've just impeded we'll you. We'll do all three, right, but yeah. we won't say who the winner is until after midnight. Is that fair enough? All right, fair enough. Oh, we'll we'll keep people hanging on. Well, that's what you do, isn't it, on the radio and that? Yeah. Right. You're a cruel, cold man. Well, right, let's hear these clues right. then. Listen then. So the first clue, right? The Scottish fella can't get into his emails. Scottish fella can't get into his... What's the initials? K-L. K-L. Scottish fella can't get into his emails. Now, the Scottish fella, forget, it's not an artist who's Scottish and that, you've just got to look That's at a that clue. clue and think about, right... Scottish fella, you think Jock, Hamish, something like that. You could, oh, think about the way they speak or something, it could be, do you know what I mean? They're uh, really cryptic, right? Really cryptic. I mean, sometimes it's easier just to look at the initials and go, who could that be, and then right, think yeah. about the clue after. Afterwards, think about the initials first. Are they so cryptic, Carl, that sometimes you just think, well, you've wasted an hour of my life? Well, we'll see. I'll let you decide that when... When I when, when I give you the answers and that, you might, you know, go mental. So. Brilliant. All right, so that's the first one, all right? Okay, what else? Second one. Yeah. If you get, like, a light bulb, right? Yeah. And you look after that light bulb when it's young. Yeah. Right? And, you know... You look after it, you teach it stuff. Yeah. What's going on there? Right, what are you doing? And the initials are? R. R, just R. Just R, yeah. Looking after a light bulb, nurture it, treasure it when it's young, the initial is just R. If yeah. you can answer, if you know the answer, like, these are baffling to me, but if you know the answer, you could be winning Life Aquatic, Nighty Night, or the uh, making of Dark Side of the Moon. I've just had a look at that, it's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. And what's the and first the last one? The last one is uh, the Australian fella picks two men. The Australian fella picks two men. Yeah. Initials are E. Okay, so okay, let's um, let's go quickly, quickly sort of summarise right? it. For so us. the first one, the Scottish fella can't get into his emails. What's what's going on? And there? the initials are K L. K -L right? Can't, right, okay. Second one, uh, you get a bulb. Yeah. Right. You look after it. Yeah. Right. While it's young, While you nurture it's young it. And that you nurture it, and that you're teaching it stuff. What's going on there? Yeah. R. Initial R. Right. R. And the third and, and the final third one. one the Australian fella picks two men. Right. right, Australian fella picks two men. Okay, so those are the three clues. Send e, e is the letter for that one. Right. You can text us on uh, 64046, or you can give us a call, if you like, on 08700 100 600. We'll get you right on the air. Or you can email us at russell.sixmusic.co.uk. Russell.sixmusic at bbc.co.uk. There you are, it couldn't right. be less confusing. And we'll just let them get on with that whilst we're chatting and playing songs and that. And We've got plenty of songs to be getting on with. Night, we can just, you know, pick out a winner and... We'll reveal the answers and uh, let out the booty. Also, sort of perhaps uh, text us... What artists would you most like to have inside of your mind at all times? And what would be the drawbacks of that? Surely there would be some problems. Let's get on the music show. Oh.
going nowhere by a cut copy. Before that, we had Statue of Liberty, XTC. This is Russell Brand standing for the moan on your BBC Six Music. I'm here with Carl Pilkington with his rock busters quizzes and queries, right? I was about to say, you waste everyone's time because I think they're impossible that no one will ever, ever, if we, we could sit here till the end of time and no one will get those um, cryptic clues. We've had, like, already, like, four people that have got them completely right. Brian from Manchester, you're right. Uh, who else is right? Ian in Southend, you're right. Then there's someone from Scotland, TC in Glasgow, he goes, you can keep them DVDs, lads. He ain't interested. He's not getting seduced by your contests. And then Paula from the bank says, I don't have a Scooby on those rockbusters, but I'd like a Pink Floyd book. Well, Paula, you know, working in a bank, don't you? You may have a good, strong foothold in the world of capitalism, but you can't start throwing your weight round here. You will have to enter the competition like a normal person. Cole, I reckon... That we, you should think of some new ones and we should give these people the prizes because they've come up with it so quickly. I know, but we've only got so. What do you want me to do? Go home and see what the DVDs are Go about? and get some more DVDs. Perhaps, you know, perhaps you could give up some of your shoes or something. No, oh, just leave it. Listen, if you were getting into Buddhism, you'd have to renounce some of your material possessions. I don't think you'd stand a chance. What's that, it, that, whoa, 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 whoa. that person offered you a plum, you turned your nose up at it because you thought he was a bit grubby. Then, like, then you sort of you're clinging on these DVDs already reckon why. I reckon we should reveal the answers and you should think some more. You've got more of these things in your mind, haven't you? Yeah, but we haven't got many DVDs. Of course we have. We'll get more. I'll go. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go over around. Jupiter's desk. He's got all sorts of DVDs lying around there. We'll go and load herself up with Phil Jupiter's booty. Come on. Right. Brian from Manchester, you were right. So go and say the clues, the first clue again. And you give the answer. Yeah, yeah and I'll give the answer. Right, the clue was a Scottish fella. Scottish fella. Right. He can't get into his emails. What's what? Why is the answer on? is Kenny Loggins. Kenny Loggins. A Kenny Loggins. Kenny Loggins. Correct answer, Brian from Manchester. I would never have got that. All right. The second, second one, one, right, you get a little bulb and that, right, you, you, you sort of look after it, right, yeah, when, it's, like when it's young and stuff and you teach it stuff. Right? Yeah. The initial was R. Yeah. Raise a light, you raise a light, you literally raise a light. And what's the third and final one? The Australian fella picks two men. Picks two men? Him and him. Him and him. I'll have that one or that one. Him and him. Him and him. Perfect. Well, Brian from Manchester, you were right. Ian in Scotland, you were right. Right, so send in, t text us or call us now, tell us what, you can both have a copy of the Pink Floyd book, but then you, we've got to divide up phone booth, nighty night, day after tomorrow, and marry and Jeff between do, you. Do you know what, right? How Go about on. this? How about this? Yeah, right. well, they do a playoff. No, what I'm thinking is, why don't people make their own? Yeah. Send them in to us. And we'll do them. And we'll do them. Right, oh, we'll challenge it. Oh, well, like it's a two-way street, Carl. Right, you send your ones in to us, but we want prizes off of you. And the only currency I understand is kissing from good-looking women. That was Caught by the River by Doves. Before that, we had Five Man Army by Massive Attack. This is Six Music with Russell Brand and Carl Pilkington. Thanks very much for your text messages. Um, right, Mark Smith... You were just a bit too late. You did have the right answer with uh, for C Carl's cryptic rockbusters quiz, right? It was Kenny Loggins raised light Eminem. Yes, that's true. And uh, all right, and uh, oh, here this is um, uh, actually Steve from Cardiff says that he would like to have Joe Strummer in his head. He'd like to have Joe Strummer in his head. What if uh, if one song was sort of going over and over in your head? Not necessarily one song, one artist. If he had to have it permanently in his mind, constantly, he'd go for Joe Strummer. He wouldn't like to have. Ozzy Osbourne in his head at all times, particularly because Ozzy would occasionally get bored of performing and just start making emotional demands, wouldn't he? Oh, I can't work the remote control, Sharon, Sharon, that kind of stuff. Yeah, probably like an instrumental's best as well, isn't it? Thinking about it, get an instrumental because then you can, if you need to. Words. Yeah, you need, what if you need to focus on a task on some administrative thing? Um, uh, Callum reckons that the case in the text only would hate to have Sean Paul constantly in his mind. Can anyone understand what he says? No, I don't know if anyone can. So and that's what's bad, isn't it? Because it's like, he could have something really important to say. Yeah. And we're all going, what? What's he saying? What? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Like, what like we were talking about Jesus earlier. If Jesus had, had murmured. That. Yeah. Or, you know, just been inarticulate or used opera, then Christianity would not have taken the world by storm in the fashion that it has. And we wouldn't have tables and chairs. We'd have no table. We'd all be sat on the floor eating our food off of tiles with, with bleeding gums. Can you imagine what kind of world that would be, Carl? Got uh, another text here. This is from uh, Catherine and Peter in Bath. 
they were enjoying our show, and they said, can you explain the meaning of apocryphal rhubarb as mentioned in last night's show? Could it be a new religion or a new religious concept? Well, apocryphal means, like a, I think it means at least, a story that's reported to be true, reputedly true, but ain't necessarily so. We gave the example of George Washington chopped down that tree. Carl still doesn't understand this. I, know, I, don't, I don't know how you get all these... Out, where's the room in your head, right? Where you're keeping all these words. I cleared that. it out of a big blaze of heroin throughout <laughs> my teens and twenties. I'll tell you right, I've I got a new phone the other day yeah. for Christmas. You know, I sort of treat myself. Well, you bought it for yourself? Yeah, just a new little mobile. Mobile, right? yeah, okay. And it's got that predictive text on it. Yeah. Right? And I'm sure that my new phone is brainier than me, right? I would not dispute that. I reckon we should let it co-host the rest of the show. No, I was I was doing a I was I was probably sending a text to you. And yeah. I was putting I was putting in ain't. Yeah. As in, like, I ain't got a clue. Is not, I? yeah. Ain't. And I put in ain't, looked at the screen. Yeah. And it had brought up biotechnology. It brought up biotechnology? Who's sending that on a text? Well, possibly terrorists. I mean, so, like, I mean, I think it's good that it's anticipated that. You were trying to say ain't. Ain't. I mean, I don't know if it works on everyone's phone. It'd be interesting to see if different phones are brainier than others, really. Because, you know, there's a, a machine somewhere in the world, some computer machine. My phone's a daft, it is. It interferes with well, my life. What do you say if you put in ain't? Just try and... Uh, uh, oh, I can't be bothered, Russell. All right, well, let's try. We'll do it. We'll do it now. Let's just put in ain't now. A-I-N-T. Ain't. You see, it's what's just, probably happened is it's got used to you. It's got used it? to me doing it. So. Hold on, now it's time for this. Core blimey, I'm ever so lonely, Sarzam. What wouldn't I give for the company of a lady or sank? That's what it's gone on. It's just predicted my whole mood there, just from that little bit of information that it got then. Um, hey, what was I going to say about phones and technology and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. Right, there's a mis- Do you know that there's, like, a computer that listens to all our phone calls and all of our texts to make sure that, you know, to be- because it's sensitive to, like, crime and terrorism. So, if you send a text message that says in it something like- if you send a text message, right, try it with your friends. If it said, like, cocaine, bomb, communism, those are all buzzwords that mean it would alert this sort of this computer thing and I'd say hello, someone's sending text messages here that are of a dubious nature. So be very careful if you send text messages that contain that kind of information. I don't think I need to worry. Why, because you don't send that? No. If you, if, I suppose if you're sending a text message that says, get me some cocaine, I need it to get the confidence up, I've planted a bomb, also we ought to consider uh, the communist manifesto, then perhaps the CIA should keep their eyes peeled. Mine probably won't say it, say something else. Like yeah. Like biological something yeah. or other. It's just Recalcitrant, uppity fool you, Carl. I'm glad it stepped in. Setting Sun there by Chemical Brothers. Brilliant to listen to it for 5 minutes 27 seconds, but would you like it in your head for all eternity, Carl Pilkington? No. No. I mean, but it's good and everything like you say, but... But after a while, it'd send you a bit, it would send you over dead. But for five minutes, twenty, what, that was five minutes of bliss, wasn't it? It was just, just fine, to have that. It, yeah. Listen to Six Music, I'm Russell Brand here with Carl Pilkinson. Um, yeah, so here's some things to text us about and email us about and phone us the, uh, phone numbers 08, what is the phone number, Carl? 0800, yeah. I know that's the start o of it. 0800. 0800, oh, Christ. What well, a way to begin. 100, 600. 08700 100 600. Yeah, yeah. You can give us a little bell if you, and tell us what what artist or group would you like to have in your mind at all times and which one would you least like to have? Or you can text us on 640406, same information. Or you can, I think, just use those mediums. You can email us if you want, but if you want to do that, you've got to investigate it for yourself. Well, it's, it's might as well say it in the time you said that. I might as well just it's, say it's, it's russell.6music at bbc.co.uk. It just confuses me saying things with a lot of dots in it because I feel like I'm using Morse code, punctuation, it's just it's a baffling way to communicate. I'm scared of the internet anyway, as you know, I just well, find it a very yeah, it's weird, difficult it? way to communicate with people. But, you know, hey, let's get with it, grow up, stop being such a square. Now, um, what I wanted to talk about is these, this competition, right? So we did Carl's Rockbusters, it was a roaring success, but um, Brian from Manchester and Ian quickly got the answers, right? So we've had to give away the prizes. We've got one Pink Floyd book left. Oh, and Life Aquatic's still in here. Someone can have that as well. So, like, okay, we've got another, another prize here. But I like doing Rockbusters, right? And I want people to do more of them. We've had some brilliant suggestions. No, but we haven't got any prizes. Right, we've not got any prizes, but we have got options, Carl, right? We've got a couple of options, right? 
you're friends and colleagues with Ricky Gervais and Steve Merchant. You could plunder them for merchandise. I'm friends with, with David Wallace. No, but this is asking favours. If I had a mate of a, uh, like who was a doctor and yeah. he was saying, oh, my leg needs to come off, do you know anyone? Yeah. I, I wouldn't sort of start dragging my mates in to say, oh, right, let's get him. I'll tell you what. got a bad leg. Let's get a comp. All right, if someone. All right, so then let's not just think, oh, let's have celebrity people, right? Uh, like, you know, oh, all right, I know um, Lee Francis, creator of 